Right, thanks. A Colorado Springs woman car was stolen back in early April, and a few weeks later, an important clue to find the thief arrived in the mailbox. A red light camera ticket with a picture of that person driving her car in Pueblo. News Channel 13's Dan Beatty joins us from Pueblo tonight with more. Dan. Yeah, Bart, that picture was taken directly behind me at the intersection of Norwood Avenue and U.S. Highway 50. The alleged car thief was driving westbound. Now, I spoke with the victim in this whole situation. She tells me when she initially received that ticket in the mail, along with the image of the alleged car thief, she felt anger and hope. Say cheese. You're on camera driving a stolen car. With a big old smile on his face, like he's getting away with. Back on April 1st, Kaylin Spiegel discovered that her 2000 Honda CRV had disappeared from the front of her house. She immediately reported it missing to Colorado Springs police. What they told me is that they would just keep an eye out for it. There's really nothing you can do at that point, not knowing, having any evidence there or um, any cameras. A couple of weeks later, they get that camera evidence. A red light ticket arrives in Spiegel's mailbox with a clear photo of the driver. It's, it's hard. I just don't understand what puts somebody in that situation to want to go out and take someone's car that they obviously you know, spent a lot of money on and um, to to see the look on his face like he was really, you know, happy and excited that he was doing something like this and hurting other people is pretty sad. Spiegel says she was hopeful to get her car back and find the person who stole her car. But on May 12th, the vehicle was found abandoned on the side of the road in La Junta. Window shield cracked, the battery was dead, and the ignition severely damaged. The vehicle is currently sitting in a La Junta car lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to go there. I might have to find a mechanic there to fix everything and then drive it back. Like That's I'm coming still... out of your pocket? Yeah, yeah, totally. As for the man behind the wheel, Colorado Springs police have not identified a person of interest in this case at this time, and no arrest has been made. As for Spiegel, there is some good news. Uh, the Pueblo Police Department has dismissed that red light ticket. Reporting live in Pueblo, Dan BDK, News Channel 13.